marked the official start of the long, hard slog of the cold, dark months which often defines campaigns, then Tottenham will draw a degree of hope from the dog of the game at Selhurst Park. Rain lashed down, swirling wind abounded and darkness enveloped South London. It was the kind of night when you suspected the Barcelona of Messi, Xavi and Mohamed had struggled to pass the ball crisply. As such, it was perhaps expecting a little much of Tottenham and Crystal Palace to do so. And yet Tottenham won in their joint second on points in the Premier League. They would surely have taken it off the back of a draining World Cup. A summer of transfer inactivity and a morale sapping the board of move into a prospective new stadium? If the ability to scrap and fight for when in and hospitable conditions with a weakened team is a measure of your character, then Tottenham passed their test on Saturday night. There was nothing remotely fragile about them, they were as far removed from their historical popular image as a lightweight team as could be imagined. This was a victory hewn from pure grit that it was suggested to Mauricio Pochettino that the performance was perhaps not a classic Tottenham display. He smiled that it was a classic. He said that over the last four or five years, it was a classic Tottenham victory, here at Palace, 1-0 for us, fighting, working hard, always suffering a little bit. Classic thought it rained a lot and for any team it's difficult to play fantastic football, the way we want to play. There was a whiff of redemption about the two died Argentine Monfoy, who had endured a miserable Premier League debut last weekend, was the man who made the difference with the 66th minute headed goal. Last weekend he had given away two penalties, which invited Tottenham's opponents, Wolves, back into the game. It was an inauspicious start to his career in England. He hadn't looked especially comfortable early on in the driving wind and rain of Southern's Park, more like a weak link waiting to be exploited and at one stage played a simple ball back to Hugo or as straight out for a corner. But he persevered and proved decisive. When you are a center back and I was a center back, these things can happen, said Pochettino. The confidence and trust in him is massive from the club, from us, the coaching staff, and from his teammates. Today showed great character and is able to feel a Premier League player. Of course, he was very disappointed last weekend because he felt responsible. But on the coaching staff, we players and we were laughing about that situation because to improve, you have to make a mistake. He is so clever, mature and intelligent. When we told them we needed to figure it thought it can happen to 30-year-old player and 19-year-old player. The problem was it was his debut in the Premier League and the situation is difficult to accept. But he moved on the day after Dotty is a player with the potential to be the best center backs in Europe. Yet there was another shard of light for Spurs that after a troubled few months both on and off the pitch since he became the World Cup winner, might we have seen a return to the best of glorious. Certainly he was crucial to Tottenham's win, his save at the death from Alexander Sirloth just one of a string of decisive interventions. Players aren't machines, said Pochettino. They can have ups and downs. I'm supported with all the players but Hugo is one of the best, no doubt. The fact that Loris needed to be so good tells you much about Palace. Thought they were obdurate, but they also had their moments where they might have been more clinical. James Tompkins' header, Jeff Rich Love strike, Nongros Townsend's chest and half volley to name but three chances in addition to Sir Lots. But the moment you heard Wilf Zahab was missing with a hamstring injury, you feared for that this would not be the night they reported their first home win of the season, or added to the sum total of two goals, both penalties, they have scored here this season. It is September 2016 when the last won a league game without Zahad out yet is against Arsenal and Chelsea, they were impressive without being victorious. 
It's very hard when a team does so many good things in terms of tactics. There are four great and determination yet you lose one to zero, said Roy Hodgson. It's hard to take out there and the words which alter the situation so that we can talk all we like. But it won't stop anyone countering, that you haven't won the game, or that we didn't score a goal, or that Wolf Zaha didn't play therefore you lost. I know that's not true but the fact is we have not won the game without Wolf for god knows how long and there's another one to add to the list. Tottenham's first half consisted of losing Kieran Trippier to a groin injury, which will probably rule him out of England duty but which Pochettino considered to be relatively minor. They also had a Harry Kane strike pushed away by Wayne Hennessy on 30 minutes but little else of real quality. The breakthrough perhaps inevitably came from the set piece that Lucas Moura lifted the 65th minute corner into Kane and his header had bounced off the knee of Molivantivik and up into 6 yard box. Yet while Palace players, notably Jordan Ayew, seemed to freeze, unable to attack the ball, Boy 3 acted decisively to head the ball home. His joy was obvious as was that of his teammates all of whom other than goalkeeper Lewis, ran to congratulate him. It wasn't the greatest goal nor the finest performance thought but it a significant marker that Spurs will easily be pushed aside. There was presumably an element of relief that Roy Hodgson's team don't give much away. When they are drilled into this kind of 4-4-2 shape, even the best opponents struggle. And Tottenham weren't at their best on Saturday. Indeed, Palace on the breaking from set pieces looked threatening. Tompkins had headed wide from Olivetovic's corner on 53 minutes and once Spurs had scored, they initiated the response, the best effort coming from the Jeffrey Schlub shot on 80 minutes, which Lewis did well to push wide. In the ensuing melee, Lamella cut his head and though referee Jonathan Moss allowed the Palace attack to run, eventually the sight of a player with a serious head injury brought proceedings to a temporary stop. The Argentine was replaced by Harry Wingstop shortly after a deflection set up for Andros Townsend, who took it on his chest and volleyed the ball only for Luris to push wide.